Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Winter is coming here in Australia, the temperature has definitely dropped the last couple of weeks which means it's coat season and so what I thought I would do in today's video is to share my top five or six tips in terms of choosing your perfect winter coat and we'll also take a look at my coat collection which I've got here on the rail. I really hope you all find today's video useful in terms of some tips and without further ado we'll get started. So tip number one when it comes to investing in your perfect winter coat is to focus on quality over quantity. So I know this is probably going to seem like a really predictable tip but it is very very important because our coat is often the first part and sometimes the only part of our outfit that other people will see. And also it serves a practical purpose as well which is it's meant to protect us from the elements and keep us warm during winter. So investing in the best quality coat that you can afford will pay dividends in the future. When you invest in good quality coat, often you'll find that it will last you for many years. And I have a coat here on the rail, which I have used for over a decade. So this was the first coat that I purchased in my early 20s. And at the time, it was a huge investment for me because it was the equivalent of either my weekly or fortnightly um, pay packet at the time. So a very big purchase, but it ended up being one of the wisest purchases I've ever made. So tip number two, when it comes to investing in your perfect winter to coat is to focus on fabric and this is such a key consideration because looking at fabrics such as wool and cashmere in the fabric composition is going to ensure that not only does your coat look a lot nicer compared to a polyester type coat but it's also going to keep you warm and shielded from the elements. I've got this coat here from Reese and the outer shell of this coat is 100% wool so it's incredibly incredibly warm, amazing quality and another thing that's important when we're looking at fabric is to not only consider the outer shell of the coat, but also the inner lining as well. So we want to pay attention to coats that have an inner lining with some cotton in the fabrication because it's just going to add that extra layer of warmth. Something else to pay attention to when you are looking at the fabric of your coats is to actually read the fabric composition on the tag because a lot of coats out there will say on the main tag that they are a wool blend, um, but this is where we really need to be strategic and actually have a look at the coat. So we want to make sure there's at least a 50% wool blend as I mentioned. This coat here is 50% wool and 50% polyester and it's got a polyester and elastane lining. So this is a little bit more of a fashion I guess you could say type of coat compared to the Reese one not as warm but still it has at least got that 50% wool in the fabric so there is definitely going to be warmth with this one. Tip number three for when it comes to investing in your perfect winter coat is to look at color. Now everyone has a completely different wardrobe palette. We also have different hair color, eye color, skin color and different colors that we're personally drawn to. So again this is going to be very subjective and different for everyone watching. However the two main uh, things I wanted to focus on in this section is neutrals and colors. So starting off with neutrals, they are incredibly versatile and definitely something that I have started to develop a really big appreciation for, particularly over the last year or two. When we're looking at neutrals, we're not only considering black, white and grey, there's other colours out there as well, particularly navy, cream, camel, taupe and beige. The reason why neutrals are so great, especially when it comes to outerwear, is because not only do they look classic, chic and elegant, but they also pair back seamlessly not only with colours in our wardrobe, but also with other neutrals as well. So it just makes styling incredibly easy when it comes to neutral colourways for coats. Whilst neutrals are incredibly versatile and also very, very chic, there's no better time of year to inject some warmth and vibrancy and colour into our wardrobes than during winter. So one of the things that I never fail to notice during winter time, especially when I'm in the city, in Sydney, is just the sea of black coats. And whilst I do love a good black coat, um, having that bit of pop of colour is always lovely to see. So when we're thinking of colours for winter, we're thinking of those really deep, rich colours such as vibrant reds, royal blue, dark forest green, warm yellow mustards and even a deep burgundy colour as well and I actually have 
a beautiful coat here in a color a few years ago I never would have considered. So it is this lovely one here in a really rich, deep burgundy color from Review Australia. And as I mentioned, this isn't something I would initially be drawn to. However, I'm so happy that I actually did take the chance because it is absolutely divine. In a perfect for winter shade, given the, the burgundy colorway and the, the lovely fur collar here. But I think it's a really good example of how it's also good to go out of our comfort zone when it comes to colors. We don't know what we don't know. So when you are out shopping, don't be too shy. Try on different colors, different things. You may just find a color that you wouldn't initially be drawn to, but you end up loving. Tip number four when it comes to investing in your perfect winter coat is to look at the different design elements of your coat. What is your ideal coat? Does it have pockets? Does it have a tie waist? Has it got little accent details, particular buttons? These are all the things that are going to make a coat personal and really work for you, your style and your lifestyle as well. One of the most important things I feel when it comes to coats, at least for me, is to try and purchase a coat that actually has pockets in it. They're just so handy to have. Not only can you pop your phone in one of the pockets, but you can also put your hands in there to keep you warm as well if you don't have gloves. Another design detail to consider when you're investing in your coat is whether you want to purchase one with a waist tie or not. I personally prefer them because it means that I'm able to cinch myself in at the waist, which gives a really feminine hourglass silhouette. It also keeps you warm because you've got the coat pulled in as well. So waist ties are a great design element. And another design element which I really, really love are fur collar accents. This has got a really soft and almost velvety type fur collar to it. Um, and obviously this one here, which was the burgundy coat, has a fur collar. It's a little bit different in terms of the texture, but fur collars just add a really luxurious element and a different design detail to your coat. What you'll find with coats is that a lot of them that have fur collars the collars are actually removable. So this gives you just versatility in terms of styling. You could wear it one day with the fur collar on there and another day with it off, depending upon how you wanted to style your coat. Tip number five for when it comes to choosing your perfect winter coat is to consider what type of collar style would you like to have. So there are quite a few different ones out there. You can get coats that have quite a high stand-up collar. You can also get ones that have a wraparound style one and also other coats that have a sort of more open style collar. Conversely, you can get ones that have a storm flat arm um, fastening as well. So quite a few different varieties out there. I think that when it comes to collars, it also pays to think about whether you are going to be wearing a scarf with your coat. If you purchase a coat that has a wraparound large collar, then this is also going to mean that you won't have to wear a scarf. Conversely, if your coat is more open in terms of the collar style and neckline, you're probably going to need to wear a scarf on those really cold days. So my final tip for investing in your perfect winter coat is to start your coat shopping early. Oftentimes the prime and most coveted winter style coats will be released very early in the season, even sometimes as early as mid-autumn time. Whilst you can often pick up some great buys in terms of coats that are on sale during the winter sales, those are often held once you've gotten into the mid to late end of the winter season. You're definitely going to need a coat before you get into the middle of winter. So if you are in the market for one, I would suggest you start shopping early on, particularly at the end of autumn to the start of winter. So I've gone over my top tips for investing in your perfect winter coat, and now I'm going to take you through my coat collection. So I've already mentioned the coat that I've had the longest time. This is my second oldest coat, and again, it's one one I've had for over a decade. It is from a British retailer called Jigsaw. It is a short coat, so it comes, sits on the, the hips, and I do tend to prefer coats that are either mid-thigh or knee length, just because they give you that added warmth. But this is great for the early or late um, parts of winter, and it's in a beautiful duck egg blue color. We've got the silver buttons in a double-breasted design here, lovely sharp, collar there. In terms of fabrication, this is 80% wool and 20% polyamide. And one of the things that I think is really lovely about this coat 
is the linings. So we've got this pink little piping detail there and it's also got lovely little shimmery stars on the lining. So just that sort of little added extra touch that makes this a really special item. So moving on to another piece from Jigsaw and this is probably one of the most classic pieces in my wardrobe. It is this trench coat here in black. So very, very traditional trench coat style. We've got the double breasted button detail there. We've got, I guess that's the sort of storm flap closure on the neckline. This one does have functional pockets. It's got the waist tie here. We also have a matching detail on the cuffs there and it is lined, so incredibly warm. So just an absolutely brilliant buy. Um, I, I'm gonna have this for 20 years or more because it is just so classic, so chic. Neutral colorway. I do have the Burberry one on my wish list, as I'm sure many people who love trench coats do. But I think when it comes to a trench coat, if you can purchase one that is really good quality, very, very neutral colorway, brilliant design, then you're definitely going to have it for many years to come. And there are so many different options of trench coats out there whether you're looking at the high street or the premium high street retailers. Next up in my coat collection is something that is not a coat, but it's quite similar. It is a cape. And this is called the Obsess and Collect Cape from Alana Hill. So I purchased this a couple of years ago um, because it was just something different to a um, coat. And I just haven't really been able to style it as much as what I would have liked to. So I'll have to work on that. But different things that I loved about this cape was that we've got quite a high neckline there. And then we've got this lovely button detail that goes from the neck down to the bust area. And then we have the matching belt covered in the same fabric. And it's got sort of a little circle design detail there. So I just thought this was really unusual and different. In terms of the fabric composition, this is 100% wool. So again, it's got that really, really good um, wool fabrication. So definitely going to add that extra layer of warmth. So the next coat, as I mentioned earlier, it is this lovely one from Review. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I did touch upon it earlier in the video. So this one does actually have the wool blend on the tag there. It's got a lovely polka dot lining. And in terms of the fabric composition, this is 50% polyester, 50% wool for the outer shell. So not 100% wool, but it is definitely going to keep you warm because it has got the wool in there and also the lovely luxurious fluffy collar. So the next item in my coat collection is not a coat, but I had to include it because I do wear this during winter and it is a leather jacket. So I'm pretty sure I have featured this particular jacket in some of my previous um, styling videos. This is one that I got from Forever New. It is 100% leather. I purchased this back in 2017. Um, and it has kept me really warm over the years during autumn and winter time. So this is in the traditional biker style. We've got the little sort of tabs down the bottom, different pockets here, and you can also button it up at the neckline as well to keep yourself really warm. A great option, especially for those late autumn to early winter days when it's not quite cold enough that you need a 100% wool coat on, but you still need something to take the chill out of the air. So next up is another coat from Review. So again, very similar to the other Review coat. This one is 50% wool, 50% polyester. This one also has a removable collar as well. This collar is quite um, different in terms of the texture. And what's great is that this coat actually does have pockets, whereas the burgundy one doesn't. So this is in a lovely fit and flare design. So very feminine in terms of the silhouette. Having a navy coat is a great alternative to purchasing a coat in black. Some people don't like to wear black and others might feel it doesn't suit them personally. So if you are that way inclined, then you can always consider navy if you want a darker colored hue in your coat collection. So the last item in my coat collection is actually a jacket and it is a puffy jacket. Puffy jackets are a great option if you are looking to add something to your coat collection because not only are they soft and comfortable, 
but they also act as great wind breakers to shield you from the elements. It's great, it's in a lovely navy colorway. We've got a um, side zip with a lovely comfy collar that comes up high on the neckline. This also has functional pockets on each side as well. And on the inside of the sleeves, which I think is really handy, is it's got that extra sort of layer of material. Um, so that's gonna keep your sleeves in place, but you can also sort of bring it over onto your fingers if you're super cold. I think a puffy jacket is definitely a must have in anyone's coat collection. I hope you've all found my tips today on investing in your perfect winter coat useful. Quality over quantity, taking a look at fabric, considering whether you want something in neutral or a vibrant color, also having a look at the design details of different coats, the different color styles, and considering shopping as early on in the season as possible or possibly out of season as well. If you did like today's video, then please do make sure you give it a thumbs up. This lets me know that you like this type of content and would like to see more of this from me on my channel. And I'd also love to hear about your thoughts in the comments below. So if you have particular brands or particular styles of coats or colors or design details, then make sure you share. I'd love to have a conversation with you about it and your thoughts might also help not only me but other people reading the comments too. So don't be shy and make sure you let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and found it useful. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your weekend as well and I'll see you next weekend with a brand new video. Bye.